that's good, that's good. That's good. You're making me look like RuPaul, for God's sake. Hola, Todas. Buenos dias. Me llamo Casper Conan K. Hey, everybody. Casper with a K here, just in case you don't understand the lingo. And poor K, am I speaking Spanish? Because I'm in friggin' Mexico, remember? On my hiatus, right? Anyway, I don't know. Call me old-fashioned, but I think it's so important when you're somewhere else to, like, just blend in and be one of the boys, you know what I mean? And I'm very lucky because... You know, I speak Spanish fluently, I really do, with a flawless accent. Um, I just have a natural aptitude for that kind of shit, I really do. Uh, most people think I'm Mexican here, they do, until I stand up. Um, so, and let's be honest, folks, uh, Spanish is the new English. Um, you know, from what I understand, pretty much most, if not all, of California used to be Mexico. So you can understand why those people want it back, for God's sake. Or at least be able to live there without any hassle. Um, really, people... So yeah, I think it is important to really honor our indignant people. I, I think indignant people have a very uh, pride of place in our culture because, you know, they offer texture. I mean, my own mother was one, and she was very indignant. Um, but they offer warmth and color and texture, you know, like the gays, a little splash of color here and there. Um, otherwise, this would be a very whitewashed, boring society, I think. Um, as you can tell, a bit of a tree hugger. Um, I kind of believe in no borders. I think everybody should have a better life wherever that takes them, for God's sake. Um, you better believe if there was beaches and sunshine in Poland, I'd be there right now. Um, so why not? You know, for God's sakes, we're a big global family. Get over yourself with it, you know. Um, okay. So this is the first of probably maybe many little video um, postcards. That, oh, video postcard. I like that. Yeah, little video postcards that I'm sending from my second home mexico oh my god i heart mexico i do i'm here all the time and i get all of my stuff here i do all of my medication especially um i get my lithium i get my viagra i get my antibiotics and it's so friggin' cheap here oh my god so much cheaper than back home and i love 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 the way they have a little five-year-old serving you in the pharmacy it just makes you want to buy more shit right so yeah love it here okay um I know what you're all thinking. I do. I know what you're all thinking. You're thinking, what's up with the new look? Well, quite plainly, folks, uh, I'm on vacay, and I'm just really letting it all hang out and, uh, you know, letting all the shit slide. Uh, I'm still working out, though. I mean, I work out daily, uh, sometimes twice if I'm going out that night. But, yeah, you know, it's just so liberating to just take a break from the whole celebrity image crap. Uh, it's so healthy for me right now to be away from L.A. I really feel that. Um, um, I really do. Um, so it's great. Um, it's kind of fun, you know, playing with a whole macho kind of bearded look. You know, I kind of feel like one of those cult media guys or Titan media, whatever they call them, you know. Um, but please, you know, all these compliments, they're very nice. I'm getting a lot of hits on my website right now. People are very complimentary about this new kind of macho image. Somebody called me Burt Reynolds. I don't know if be flattered or offended. I think I'll be flattered. If I'm offended, I'd say too many blue things on air. Um, okay, so yeah, it's kind of funny though, but no more communication, please, from the leather community. I love you guys, but I'm not a leather daddy. It's just not my bag. And no, I don't want to go to the Folsom Street Fair either, but thank you. Okay, number two, my friggin' sun damage. Oh my God, look at my skin. I look like Tara Reid, don't I? Oh my God, if my dermatologist saw me right now, he would freak, he really would. Um, so I got into a little spot of trouble the other night, you know, um, me and Jaime went out across to some cock fest that was happening in uh, Guadalajara, a little town south of here. And so, you know, we get there and there's, of course, there's all these guys like trying to get with me because I'm a celebrity. Um, but I have this one special connection with this guy, and I am uh, i didn't have much money on me that night because, you know, I was afraid of getting robbed by bandits, so I had to make a decision on the spot. Do I buy protection for sex, or do I buy protection for my skin in the way of SPF the next day? I think it's pretty obvious which one I chose. So the moral of the story, people, is when you let the little head do the thinking for the big head, the big head gets burned.